Hey guys, Kelly Fab, and today is time to tackle. Nope, not this one. <laughs> today it is time to tackle lipsticks. So I have tons of lipsticks in here. Most of these were like on the ground here, were from my Christmas kits. And then these I've had for a while. I have another little lipstick container right there. And then I have. You guys are seeing my mess of a room right now. All of these in here, all of these in here, and all of those right there. So let's get to this. Okay you guys, so this is everything that I am going to be decluttering today. <laughs> Holy crap. So I have liquid lips here and here. Um, ColourPop is all at the bottom and other brands are on the top. And then I have a bunch of ColourPop lippy sticks, whoops, here and here are all ColourPop lippy sticks along with all of these. I love that formula, it's my favorite. I have some Bite Beauty, some little sample sizes up here, a bunch of my full sizes here, more sample sizes, and then these are like my, I guess these are like a regular lipstick formula. These are like my crayon lipsticks, and then these ones over here are like the ones with the paddle on the top of it. You know what I'm talking about? Like the squeeze tube lipstick where the foamy things on the top. I just wanted to separate them by kind of what they were about. So. Let's get right into this, you guys. I think I'm gonna start with the liquid lips and move all the bullet lips out of the way. I might have to split this up into two videos because this might be a little bit too long, but I'm gonna try to work through these as quickly as possible and show you guys some swatches along the way. So let's get going. with liquid lipsticks that's all this <laughs> I'm sorry I just have to laugh because this is so much stuff so I think my plan is to put the ones that I don't want here because I'm running out of boxes and things to put stuff in and then so I'm gonna put stuff I don't want in here sorry you're not gonna be able to really see it and then I'm going to put stuff that I do want into my little circle bin thing here. So let's get some better lighting and I'll show you guys some swatches and let's get going on these liquid lipsticks. Alright, I'm going to just first pull out colors that I know I'm never going to wear and formulas that I just don't like. So let's do that. So I know for, fa for a fact I don't like this Dirty Little Secret Red. Didn't work for me, I got it in a boxy charm. I don't like this Too Faced Melted Latex. It looked really weird. The color I think is the problem. I'd like to try this formula again, but this color was hot mess and I looked like a hot mess wearing it. Um, this Buxom Wildly Whipped Liquefied Liquid Lipstick is in the shade criminal this is in the shade criminal it's a purple I'm not gonna wear that that's terrible if i'm already stumped on the colors oh my god okay so maybe i should sort these i don't know maybe i shouldn't okay this is the satin lip in the shade naked ladies it's like a brighter like orangey red such a pretty summer color i really do like that um, I'm gonna put that to keep. This one is in the shade Viper. I did remember wearing this like once or twice and really liking that. It's like a purpley, nudey type color. This one is a ultra metallic lip in Salt. I love this ultra metallic lip formulas. I always put these over top of um, bullet lipsticks and they look so good. So gonna keep that 
Wow, I'm doing a terrible job so far. Anyways, this one is in the shade Lights Out. I do like this one a lot. This one is in the shade Shim Shimmy. And I think the formula is separating, but I also think it's partially because of the fact that I wore it a bunch. So it's got some gone. That's like a really bright pink. I think I have another one similar. This one's in the shade Seesaw. I'm going to see if I like this one more. Seesaw is more of like a purpley pink and Viper is more of like a baby pink. Do I have any more pinks in here? This one's in the shade Solo. This one's very different. I think I'm going to get rid of Seesaw. I'm going to keep Shimmy. Um, this one's really nice and solo. I feel like I have another one. Maybe not. Okay, I guess I'll keep it. <laughs> this one's in the shade Alyssa. This is one of my absolute favorites. This was the Kathleen Lights collab. Um, and this is the Ultra Satin Formula. I really love this one. And then if I can find November, I think it's right here. Nope, take five. I don't know where it is. But November is the other one she had. I'm sure I'll come up with it here shortly. Hopefully you can see my swatches a little bit better. This is a Ultra Metallic Lip in the Hello Kitty collection. This is in the shade Surprise. I've worn this before on my channel and I really do love it. It's like a red sparkly color. It's perfect over like any kind of lip. Really like that one. This one's an ultra matte lip in the shade Saigon. I think it's called Saigon. It's like a really, really red, red shade. I really like my reds like that. So I think I'm going to keep that one, but let me just swatch this one too. This one's in London Fog. I have the London Fog's um, oh, I like this one too. Oh, they're like the exact same color. You guys see that? What's formula? This is the satin lip. Saigon is the matte lip and London Fog is the satin lip. I like the satin lip formula better. So I'm going to get rid of the matte lip formula. This one is in the shade Bumble. And I've worn this one quite a few times. It's a very like brick red and it is the ultra matte formula i do like this one a lot this is in the shade lock diary i don't think i've ever actually worn this one but i have swatched it a couple times it's a very like i don't know i don't know how to describe this one it's like a pink but it's got like a blue undertone to it i'm gonna get rid of that then i've got a metallic lip in jic it's like j period c period i series or J-I-C, whatever. I do like this one. I love the metallic lips. They really do look good. This one's in the shade Take 5. Oh, that one's so pretty. I haven't even tried this one on yet because I just got this one. It's a matte lip, which isn't my favorite formula, but I'm willing to try it out. This one I know I'm going to keep. It's a metallic formula in Flitter. This is like the coolest color. It's like the pink undertone sparkle but it's got like a gold orange shift on it it's so cool you guys can see that right there it's just like the coolest color like that one this one's in jiffy and it is the amanda Steele ultra satin lip um collab um i'm gonna try that one out all of these i plan on doing like an everyday makeup drawer and what I plan on doing with these is pulling at least two out every month so that I can decide if I still like that color or if it's just getting too old or whatever. But yeah, that's what my plan is. So this next one is November. I know I'm definitely keeping this one. This one and Alyssa are like my two favorites and Kathleen Lights actually created this one as well. Keeping that... This is in the shade Barracuda. I wore this like two days ago filming and I just love it so much. It's like a brown, deep brown red with a blue undertone. Love that one. This one's in the shade Strip and I haven't actually worn this one yet. This is the Ultra Satin Lip Formula. Oh, that one's really 
it's a, just like a plain nude. I'm gonna try that one out. This one's in the shade Instigator. I think this one's getting a little bit old. It is separating a little bit, but let's see. It's like a very orange color. I don't think I need this one. I'm gonna pass it along. This one's in the shade Echo Park. This one's like a very cult favorite from ColourPop. It's like a perfect nude with a red-orange undertone. I really like this one. That one will be kept. This one's in the shade Likely, and I don't think I've even tried this one yet. Um, it's very uh, like a light nude. I don't know. I'm going to try this one out and see if I like it. This is in the shade Aquarius, and it is the Ultra Satin Lip Formula. I love this one. I don't, it's like a more pink undertone than Likely was. Likely was a very orange undertone. So I'm going to keep that one. This was from the Christmas collection last year. It is an ultra matte in the shade Wild Nothing. Ooh, this one's really pretty. This one's a lot like Barracuda, only this is the matte formula, and it's got like a different, it's very similar though. I don't know. I'm going to try this one and see if I like it. This one is in the shade Naughty, K-N-O-T-T-Y, and it's like a lighter shade. Oh, that's like the same tone as that one. Um, this is a matte formula, though. I'm going to keep it. I don't have very many matte formulas. This is a satin formula in the shade Brooklyn. I wore this the other day, and I loved it. It's like a pink... I don't, it's like a Barbie pink. Like that's the color I can describe for this one. It's a Barbie pink. That's what it is. I like it. This is in the shade Perky and it's an ultra matte lip. Ooh, this one's really pretty too. It's more of a red undertone than this other one here. I like it. I'm going to keep it. Honestly, you guys, I don't feel bad about keeping all of these because I paid for them. So when I keep them, I really don't mind because then hopefully I'll get my money's worth out of it. This one's in the shade Chili Chili. And this one's just like a pure brown, dark brown. I love this. Really, really good one. This one's in the shade Echo Park. I already kept an Echo Park, so I can get rid of that one. This one's in the shade Times Square, and it is an ultra matte lip. Why do I buy so many ultra matte lips when I don't wear them that much? Wow, that one's like super similar to some of these other ones too. I'm gonna try this one out and see if I like it. This one's in the shade First Base, and it is separating a little bit, but like I said, they've been stored upright, so, you know, they're gonna separate. That one's like, I don't even know. That one's such a pretty color. I'm going to try this one out in the summer. And if I don't wear it over the summer, I'll get rid of it. So, hey, how do you like my leopard print? Sexy, huh? Kind of looks like a brick sidewalk or something, doesn't it? I like it. Okay, so that was all the ColourPop. So for ColourPop, I got rid of one, two, three, four, five, six ColourPop. I got rid of six ColourPops and I kept two, four, six. 24. <laughs> That's really bad. Anyways, I paid for them. So like I said, it's okay. Oh, and then we have one more over here and this is Aquarius 2 and I have not tried this one out yet, obviously. Oh, the sticker's peeling off. It's so annoying when that happens. Okay, let's see. And this is an ultra matte formula. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. So I can throw this away. Okay, so I wanted to zoom you in a little bit tighter for this one. Sorry if the few stray dog hairs are driving you as crazy as they're driving me. But let's just finish out these ones with all the other brands that I have. These are just random brands. So let's do this. This is in the shade Dominatrix and it is by Buxom. Um, if you guys want to see my Buxom lip swatches, I can link the video up in the cards or down below. But it's like a really pretty red. I've not worn it yet though since I did that video. This is the shade Centerfold. I just set it aside because I haven't decided. <laughs> this is the shade Centerfold. I really like that one. It's like a really pale 
nude color. This is the shade Devious Dolly. I know I'm going to keep this one, but I will give you guys a swatch. It's a really, really good one. It's coming off really patchy on my hand, but when it goes on the lips, it's not an issue. So I'm going to keep Devious Dolly. Where should I put it? Over here? Okay. And then I've got Lover, and this is like a bright pink. Why is it not picking up anything? There we go. That is Lover there. So I think I'm going to get rid of Centerfold. I'm going to get rid of... And then I have a bunch of reds that I really like. I'm going to get rid of this one. And then Lover. I think I'm going to keep this Lover color. That's really cool. And then I have a couple little samples here. This one's from Ciate London. It's the Liquid Velvet Formula in the shade Diva. I got this as a sample size. And I wore it one time and ordered a whole bunch of them from Ciate. So I really love this shade. It's more of a bright red than I like, but I really do like this one. Where are my other Ciate Londons? Here's one. This one's in the shade Swoon. I wore this the other day, or no. Nope, I didn't wear this one the other day. It's very similar to Centerfold, but I like this formula way more than Centerfold, so I'm gonna keep that one. Then I have this one in Wonderland from Ciate London. That's like a really pale, like pastel -y pink. I really do like this one. Like I said, I paid full price for all of these Ciate London. This is the one I wore the other day. It's called Bittersweet, and it's a very gray toned nude. It looked so cool with my look that I had. I wish I would have taken a picture with it, but I did not. So anyways, so far, <laughs> these are the ones that I am keeping. This is one that I got in that little sample pack from Sephora. It's the Kat Von D um, liquid lipstick in this shade Ludwig. And I know I'm keeping this one. I swatched it the other day. Love that shade of nude on me. It looks really good. So I'm going to keep that one. This is the Smashbox Always On liquid lipstick in the shade Driver's Seat. I got this as a sample from a Sephora Playbox. And I went out and bought another one. So I love this one. The one that I ended up buying after that was this shade Stepping Out, and I'm obviously keeping this one as well. This one's actually getting a little bit dry, to be completely honest, but I will make that work for sure. I'm going to put this in my drawer to use up because it's getting quite dry, so I do like that one though. Um, next, I got this Tarte. Tardius Lip Paint in the shade XOXO. It's another red. This one's a deeper red, and it looks really good with a dark lip liner. Um, I'm going to keep this one and try it out a few more times before I get rid of it. I really do like this one. Um, this red is from Revlon. It's the HD Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in the shade Romance. HD Romance. Sorry, that took me a hot second. But it's like... It's so weird because it's not opaque. Like it's very sheer. Like you can't call yourself a lipstick if you're not even opaque. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. I love the smell. I know people have like a thing against the smell. I love it though. This one is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in the shade Embrace. And I liked this one way more than I liked Romance. Like that one's actually opaque. So I'm gonna keep this one. I gotta just love the smell. You can just like smell it immediately. This one is from the brand Caitlin, and it's the Extreme Matte Tint and Velvet, it says, Pure Lust, and it's in the shade 32 Practicable, Practicable, Practicable? Is that a word? I am not sure, but it's a super pretty color. I almost decluttered this a couple times, and then I swatched it, I'm like, wow, it's such a good color. So I haven't given this one a fair shot. I hate the smell, though. It's very chemically smelling, um, but I got this from a some kind of box was it whether it was my boxy charm or my sephora probably not the sephora it was probably the ipsy um this one i got from boxy charm and it's from beauty corp and it is the girl power liquid lipsticks and this one is in the shade date night i wore this the other day to try it out and i really really liked it it's like a terracotta red i really enjoyed this one so i'm gonna keep that this is the Infallible Pro Matte Gloss, and it is in the shade 
316 Statement Nude. You guys saw this already in my lip gloss declutter. And it's technically a lip gloss, but it's not a lip gloss at all. Like, I wouldn't wear that as a lip gloss. I would wear that as a lipstick, so I'm going to keep that. Then I have this Milani Adore Matte Lip Cream in the shade 12 Loved. And I love this one. So pretty. I know a lot of my colors are similar, but they're colors that I actually wear. So I wore this the other day. This is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. And I believe this is the shade Tuscany. I got it in a BoxyCharm, but they don't have the shade anywhere on here. But I'm pretty sure it's the shade Tuscany. And there it is there. I really, really like this one. So I'm going to keep that. Then this is the this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it is the Vintage Lip Gloss. So I guess I should have done this in the lip gloss. Um, in the shade Vintage. And I have yet to try this out. So I'm actually kind of excited. Oh. Yeah, I would probably wear that as a lipstick, not as a lip gloss. That's like super, super opaque. So I'm going to put this in my lipstick drawer. Then I have this Huda Beauty Matte Liquid, or Liquid Matte. I wore this the other day and I really didn't like it. It's the color Bombshell, but that was the first time I ever tried it. And I don't know if it's the color because that's not a color I gravitate towards or the smell, which is very very strange or if it's the fact that it's super liquidy and it got all over my teeth i don't know but i'm going to try to play with this a little bit more and see if i can get some better use out of it this is from elizabeth mott and it is the color is bay line and it is in the shade moxie mauve and i really do like this one it's definitely a shade that i gravitate towards in the summertime i did wear this over the summer so i'm going to keep it and see if i can wear it again then I have the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade It's Happening. I wore this the other day. Obviously, I've been retesting out a bunch of my lipsticks because I knew this was going to happen. But it's such a neon bright pink. Such a fun color for like some kind of cool event. I'm going to keep that. This is the same um, thing in Lady Balls. And this is my perfect red. Like if you ask me what my perfect red would be, that's it. Like... I love this red. Definitely keeping that one. So this is the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the shade Kitten Heels. I wore this quite a bit when I first got it. I think I got it in like an Ipsy bag or something. I'm not really sure, but now I just don't like it. Like that color is just not the right red for me. Like I don't know if you guys can tell the difference between the two, but this one's got a blue purple undertone and this one's got like an orangey I don't, it's just, yeah, it's got like an orangey weird undertone. I don't really like that, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is the same brand in Tea and Cookies, and this is a pink shade. Let's see. Yeah, it's like a baby pink shade. Um, I think I have a bunch like this, so I'm going to get rid of this one. And this one's in the shade Soft Spoken, and this is more of the nude color. That's like the grayish nude red undertone color. I'm going to keep this one. And yeah, that was it. <laughs> so all in all, for my other lipsticks, I got rid of... Besides Colourpop, I got rid of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 lipsticks. And I kept 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. And I kept... 22. I know that's still a lot to a lot of you guys, but honestly, I I love changing it up. Like I won't wear the same color all day. Like I'll switch it up. I'll add glitter to my eyes and grab a bold lip or I'll, you know, wipe off my eyeliner and grab a super nude lip or whatever. So I do like to mix it up and I like to you know, see what works for me the best. And some days one red might look beautiful and the next day that red, I might hate it. So yeah, that was all my liquid lips.